Do you know Korea's political system and Canada's political system? Today, I'm going to explain Korea and Canada's political system and compare them. Let me explain the table of contents. First, I will explain the political system of Korea. Secondly, the political system of Canada. And finally, I will compare the political systems of two countries. First, I would like to explain the Korean political system. The Republic of Korea is run under a semi-presidential system. A presidential representative democratic republic, these are some big words, but it basically means that the country, a country has a mix of parliamentarism and a presidential system. A country has an executive branch consisting of the president, the prime minister, and other ministries, and a legislative branch consisting of a national assembly of 300 seats, and a judiciary branch implementing a three-instance trial system led by the Supreme Court. I would like to explain in more detail about the three trial systems. The executive branch is led by the president, who is the only publicly elected member on this branch. Elections are held every five years to select a new president, and each president can serve only one five years to select a new president, and each president can serve only one five-year term. After the president has taken office, the president appoints a prime minister, who must be approved by the National Assembly, the president also appoints ministries for all of the 80 ministries in the country. The legislative branch of the Republic of Korea consists of a national assembly of 300 members. A national assembly elections are held every four years, with, where each party has a politician representing them in each constituency. The politician with the most votes in a constituency gets elected to become a National Assembly member, thus representing the constituency that elected the political. Firstly, the judiciary branch in the Republic of Korea can roughly be divided into these ones, the Supreme Court, the High Court, the District and Branch Courts, and Specialized Courts. I just explained the political system of Korea, Next, I would like to briefly explain Canada's political system. Canada's political system is based on that of the United Kingdom. It is a constitutional monarchy, which means that we recognize the queen or king as the head of state, while the prime minister is the head of government. Canada's parliament is composed of the Queen of Canada, the Senate, and the House of Commons. The Senate has 105 seats and its members are appointed by the Governor General on the recommendation of the Prime Minister. The House of Commons consists of 338 members who are elected by Canadian citizens in general elections and by elections. According to Canada's constitution, elections are held at least once every five years. However, on elections, may be called earlier if the Governor General accepts the resignation of the Prime Minister after the government has been defeated on the motion of confidence in the House and the Governor General does not ask the leader of another party to become Prime Minister and form a government. In 2007, Parliament-based Bill C-60, which, which established fixed election dates every four years on the third Monday in October. Lastly, I would like to compare Korea and Canada. The political systems of Korea and Canada are almost the same. Both Korea and Canada have something in common that elections are held every five years. On the other hand, in Korea, the president manages the country, and in Canada, the king and queen manages the country. That's it for the presentation. Thank you for your attention.